do a video refuting this King's Table. He's done videos attacking anyone who just preaches any real truth on YouTube. But he did the stream attacking uh, Brian and, and um, two other brothers who were doing the stream on church buildings and how they're not biblical. And he, of course, you know, him and all these Fenrir goons, they have just listened to every little thing we say and just come up with these little live streams and videos about every 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 word these every word we speak. You know, it's ridiculous. But he did this stream uh, trying to prove his, his uh, pagan system of church buildings. And I'm going to show you from the scriptures. Uh, because what the church building thing is, is this whole thing of uh, what he's trying to argue for is a weekly, required weekly meetings at a building. Now, church buildings are found nowhere in the Bible. There's not, there's, find me a verse about church buildings in the Bible. And in terms of uh, weekly services, uh, Acts chapter 20, verse 6 to 7, and we sailed away from Philipp Philippi, I think that's how you say it, after the days of unleavened bread, and came unto them in Troas, I hope, hope I'm saying that right, in five days, where we abode seven days, the book of verse 7. And upon the first day of the week, that when the disciples came together to break bread, Paul preached unto them, right into the part on the morrow, continue his speech until midnight. Hmm. Flies in the face of this whole church building thing of, oh, we have to have a, a scheduled service that has to end at a certain point in time. He continued his speech till midnight. So where's the uh, weekly service? Where's this? Where's the, uh, we have to keep that schedule, you know, run, running out of time, you know? Um, no. Weekly require weekly services within a certain time frame are not biblical. Paul continued his speech till midnight. He was preaching till midnight. Long sermon. So just wanted to show you that, but uh, I think my timestamp is seven, uh, seven minutes, seven minutes and ten seconds in. He uh, says something very interesting. I said, yeah, seven minutes and ten seconds. Uh, watch this. Scripture. And and what what scripture? Uh, if he, I hope you can give me a scripture where it says that you only just sit at home and you don't do anything else and you just make video ministries uh, or you just make videos. I hope you can find a scripture that says that. I know they're going to get into Paul yet, which is very interesting in and of itself because it doesn't apply to Brian, to JT, or to Tim, what they're talking about Paul with. So once it comes to that point, I'll point it out. And it's just astonishing how they think that what they're doing is exactly like what Paul was doing. Uh, Paul was writing letters. He, well, he, he didn't have a church he ran. He was writing letters. You know, each of the Pauline epistles are Paul's letters to the churches. So uh, in a sense, what Brian is doing is, you know, and obviously there are areas where I disagree with Brian on. Obviously, I'm not trying to, like, you know, be like, you know, the, these guys, they accuse me of being a cult member of Brian Dillinger and that kind of stuff. There's areas where I disagree with Brian on. But what he's doing is identical to what Paul was doing because Paul was writing letters. You know, obviously, there was no YouTube back then. So they say, oh, show me YouTube in the Bible. Uh, I can't. There's no YouTube back then. But writing letters, Paul was writing letters this whole time. So, uh, again ridiculous but, but so Brian he does videos the whole time which in a way is kind of like what Paul is doing you know I mean ridiculous I mean just the argument of this guy what which is oh. totally wrong and and a total lie they just need to somehow okay well give a scripture for church buildings give a scripture for weekly services I showed you from the scriptures right here Paul preached until midnight and I also notice that this verse does not, does not say they met in the first day of the week. Yeah, absolutely. But where does it say that it was, it was required? Nowhere in the scripture does it say that required weekly services are you know, commanded. It's not found in there. Justify what they are doing. Like, honestly, there is nobody around you close by. Like, it would just go to show how little that they are actually going out and, and, uh, and you know, Talking to people. Okay, here's the funny thing. I mean, I, I've had some of these guys get on my channel and say, "Oh, you don't. You just sit at home all day." You know, it's amazing that these people just somehow think they know about per, uh, about all of our personal lives. Somehow they just know what we do in our personal lives. Because you know, to the people who say, "Oh, you don't work," um, I work. You know, obviously I was not part of that live stream they're doing. But it's funny how they'll, just, they'll accuse us of you know, you know. It's funny they'll just they just somehow know everything about our. They think they just know everything about our personal lives. Um, we all have jobs. We all work. You know, ridiculous. So oh, you don't go out. Yeah, we do. It's just weird how, how they just think they know our personal lives. 
Because seriously, you can't find anybody to hang around with. Okay, you know, again, you know, how do you know that? You know, have you seen have you seen what we do off camera? Ridiculous. Let me show you some scripture. More on this thing of the uh, we, because again, you know, I can't really do much on church buildings because there's no mention of there's no condemnation or condonement of church buildings in scripture. So you say you're Bible believing in all matters of faith and practice. Okay, where are church buildings? Where where is required weekly services? You know, where is that? Where's your Sunday best? You know, where where there's none of there's tithing. There's none of that there. It's not biblical. Uh, where's my notes? Galatians chapter. I have my notes. Galatians chapter four verses nine to ten. Here's the thing, it, you know, the thing of required, back back in the thing of required weekly services, um, Galatians 4, 9 to 10. But now, after that ye have known, or after that ye have known God, or rather known of, or rather are known of God, sorry, uh, how turn ye to the weak and beggarly elements, where, sorry, whereunto, sorry, some stuff going on in the background kind of distracting me, where unto you desire to, again, to be in bondage, look at verse 10, ye observe days, months, times, and years. Verse 11, I am afraid of you, lest I bestowed on you, upon you labor in vain. So when you observe days, months, times, and years, you're in bondage. You're laboring in vain. Hmm. How does that work if you have, have the required Sunday services? You're observing a day, aren't you? You're in bondage. Galatians chapter, or not Galatians, Colossians chapter 2, verse 16. Another good one. Uh, here's the another one to throw. If you ever have someone who says, "Oh, you don't, you don't go to church on Sunday," oh, you, you, you heretic, throw, use this verse on. This is a good verse to use on them. Colossians two sixteen. Let no man therefore judge you in meat or drink, or in respect of a holy day, or in a new moon, or the Sabbath days. Verse seventeen. For which are a shadow of things to come, but the body is of Christ. Let no man judge you in respect of a holy day. Hmm. Interesting. So the whole thing of the, the church buildings—they're not scriptural. They're—they're they're, just... they're found nowhere in scripture. Uh, and again, the thing of uh, of required services and, and you have to observe these days or whatever. Uh, let no man judge you in respect of a holy day. So don't be deceived by this whole this whole church building nonsense. They're they're pagan. I mean, the church buildings to go back to paganism. They go back to Roman Catholicism. They're not in scripture. I mean, again, give me a verse that says church buildings and weekly services and required Sunday services and all this other stuff. It's not in there. I can show you in the catechism. There are, are um, uh, I think, uh, parts of the catechism where it, it says those things, where you have the, where it's like you have the, you're not faithful if you don't do weekly services. It's ridiculous. Don't be deceived by this whole church building nonsense. God bless you. Goodbye.